Hey, welcome back to my allotment and to a new playlist or mini series on quick tips because a lot of my videos can be quite long and I just thought we'd start some quick tips. Um, so I'm underneath the apple tree today and we're going to talk about hellebores. They're one of my favourite winter flowering plants. They're actually part of the Ranunculaceae family, which means they, are, they share their genus with plants such as the anemone and the buttercup. So they've got that really broad sort of open single flower, which means that they're also great for the pollinators. Now the hellebores actually originate from Europe, places such as Turkey and Syria, but also in Asia as well, such as China. Um, but these are just the start of a winter garden because they bloom in the depths of winter. So from sort of December, January until spring, these will be knocking their socks off with gorgeous blooms in all sorts of pinks and deep purples. I absolutely love them. Uh, but at this time of the year, it's time to do a little bit of TLC on the plants because hellebores can suffer from a leaf spot disease, which is a fungal disease, and it can weaken the plant and make it look a bit unattractive. So what it actually means is that the spores will sort of get onto the leaves, the stems and the flowers and create this big black spot, similar to the rose black spot disease that you might have seen before. But there's something we can do to try and help stop that and keep your plants in good health. So I'm here next to one of my hellebores and it's going to seem drastic, but one of the things that we can do is to actually cut off all of the leaves. And I can see here that this one actually does have some um, black spot on it. So we need to stop that from spreading to the flowers, which are just starting to come up now. And I'm so excited because oh, when they come out, they're just, they just fill your heart with joy because there's just not that much color at this time of the year. So what I'm gonna do is use my sharp clean pair of secateurs and just snip them right down to the base. Now, because this has got black spot on it, I don't wanna be composting these because it could then spread and linger in the compost and I just don't want that to happen. So I'll be taking these home and putting them in my council compost bin. I'll also give the plant a little tidy underneath just to take away all those dead leaves, try and prevent any spores from hanging around there. And now that I've cut the leaves back, the flowers will be sitting nice and proud and they'll be even more visible on a gloomy winter day. One of the great things about hellebores is that you can grow them in a shaded or semi-shaded place. So they're ideal for woodland plantings underneath trees or in a dark shady corner and they'll brighten it up with those flowers and um, you know you don't really have to do too much else to them really and over the years they'll bulk up and become bigger clumps you get loads more flowers and uh, yeah just give them a try if you can hellebores one for the winter garden right next to me is one of my favorite hellebores and it's one that i bought last year and it's called helleborus rihanna's ruby and it's got the most intense pink blooms and the leaves are actually really, really dark green with a variegation running through the leaf as well. And um, if you're in the Midlands, I really recommend you go to Ashwood Nurseries or take a look at their website if you're interested in hellebores. They breed their own. I've never been, but I'm really hoping to go um, this winter whilst the hellebores are out in bloom um, and probably end up buying a few more. Uh, but yes, I've got to cut this one back now. And so you can see that gorgeous marbling on the leaf which I'll be cutting right back because these are the old leaves and the new ones will be coming up after the flowers have finished blooming in the springtime and just look at all those buds really really excited to see these come up even bigger and better than last year so it's time to say goodbye to the leaves and hello to the flowers obviously just be careful not to snip the flower stem by mistake it's easily done. Let's give it a little tidy around the base. There we are, all ready. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again real soon for some more quick tips and allotment tours.